from us. Cool. Christopher. Oh, God. Bro, are you dead? We learned that you were dead. Damn, how did that happen? Time froze after the death of Bromez, who sacrificed himself bravely to save San Francisco. Who knows how long it has been since that event occurred, because the calendar dates never change, the lengths of the day never change, the weather never changes. We are stuck in stasis without him and are left to wonder how we can move forward. Despite these astronomically consequential circumstances, I still receive footage from Bromes. Cryptic as it may be, I have found clues that may guide me to finding him and restoring balance in this world. The sunglasses. I lost these sunglasses in Zach's mom's car en route to San Francisco when we got stuck in India. I returned to India only to find that Zach had mailed them to 1996. I returned to 1996 only to find that my long lost brother found them. And so Bromez, concerned for my ocular health, went back in time and returned the sunglasses to me. That is how this all began. And I suspect the sunglasses hold the key to bringing back my dear friend. Indeed, having traveled through time, the sunglasses could perceive the porous membranes of space-time the aura left behind by citizen of time, Christopher, Michael, Lucius, McChicken, Bromance. As he lived day after day through 1996, day after day through the ether. Upon putting on these glasses, I could find where he had been since 1996. I started in the past and moved forward to track him. Predictably, as I retraced his steps in my imagination, as I returned to the origins from which he originated, I found pockets of distorted reality where he had once been. A college campus. A tower. A shrub. A park bench. Behind a tree. On a train on the steps of the house. Anywhere he had been, he had left something. A scent? An aura? An impression? As I delved deeper, I felt as though reality was slipping from my grasp. This fragmented time space in which Bromes resides. It must be a fragmentation he deals with on a daily basis, and yet he is able to remain whole. I wonder how he does it, because I find myself perplexed at how he can remain 
so steadfast through a reality so scattered. And then I found him. So Bromes, there are theories surrounding how you were able to be a citizen of time. Time is like its own form of citizenship, really. And the most popular theory right now is that San Francisco is changing so rapidly, yet you are one of the few people who are there. You are one of the people who was lasted through all of these changes. What do you have to say about that theory? And time is... It's like deciding whether to hold a banana right side up or upside down if you're going to eat it. So, you hear about these kinds of things a lot. You, you hear about, you know, this sort of, this, this kind of panic about what's happening in San Francisco. And I think there are things to be worried about, but I think some of it is extremely, like, sort of overblown. Time is recognizing that the people who do graffiti on Muni are the greatest heroes talking about the way people do doesn't really doesn't really help but I think the really important thing is to remember that when you watch the first Mighty Ducks movie you as an adult you know you, you, you kind of go back to it and you think okay this is gonna be like a, a movie where you know the kids are gonna be sort of the main thing and Gordon Bombay uh, Emilio Estevez's character he's gonna be kind of the main supporting player it's actually not the case what is true, what is the case, is that Gordon Bombay is really sort of the principal character himself. Time is all of the hills that we, we really just need to bulldoze. Even though he is an adult, Gordon Bombay has, he, he is more child, more like sort of immature in the way that a lot of these kids are than the other adults that are sort of around him. And I just think that's a really, really interesting element that um, it sort of goes away, you know, by the end of the trilogy. Time is not being able to find parking after. I think that really provides a lot of insight as to how I became a citizen of time.